So the buys for today is bullish. Okay, this is my first target. This should be a this should turn into an order block here. And then my final target for today, the point where I'm literally gonna be done trading is when we hit this 15, 4, 6, 9.50. So um bias in my opinion today. If I'm wrong, that would be awkward, but I don't think. Yeah, everyone go like my tweet. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna, so if you wanna know how to find data highs and data lows, again, you you have to be in my forex factory and understand when there's news. So there was news this morning at eight thirty, and it left a giant abnormal wick. It left actually one on both sides, but we took the bottom. Uh, but we do not take the top one. So. <laughs> not a rubber. I just woke up. Or I didn't. Sorry. I woke up like an hour ago. But um, no, I was on on charts. And I'm fully okay with that. Because this is going to be a lot more of those. So I don't really care. What's a data, sir? Data is basically. So data is. It's, wait, I can't tell if you're serious or not. Um, It's basically. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're joking, but I don't know. If y'all know what Dave teaches. Um, Okay, I was going to make sure. When you said, what's a data? I was like, okay, there's no way you're being serious. Does anyone in here trade Dave teaches concepts or Dave's concepts? Bro, Dave, dude, you gotta make like a bot and give it to me, bro. I see Stoics post every morning. He's already up like 5k every single morning before the market even opens. I'm like, dude, holy shit. <laughs> like, just give me a bot to do that. I can, I can make money in my sleep. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're joking, Mad, but he is definitely not fraudulent. Okay, yeah, that's it. Dude, he... Dude, there's this guy named Stoic, and he literally is already up like 3k by this time. Yeah, we use quadrennial charts. <sighs> By the way, there's nothing really to play here. Uh, this is an inversion, but what's wrong with this one? Like, why couldn't I really long this? Yeah, because we already took this high, so it just it doesn't. Wait, 
But uh, yeah, I think I mean, this is more of a this is more of a bias thing for me. It's not gonna be for an entry per se, but like obviously I want to see us hold it. Right, just because I want to see us hold it doesn't mean we're gonna bounce off it. If that makes sense. Um, if we hold and get like a confirmation set up, that'll probably be the best case scenario. But. <sighs> Order submitted. When we hit it, you look for shorts or just close charts. What do you mean? My target for today is um uh my target today is this high, fifteen four eighteen, and then this buy side right here, fifteen four six nine. I mean I'm pretty confident we're gonna hit it. If we don't, I'll be very surprised, but Well, today's the day we're going to have seven green days in a row in two years, bro. Trust. Actually, like, it, it, it might not even be a green day. Think about it. This isn't very far away. We could literally just sit here and then just drop. Like, we could do this, maybe. I could see that, and then it would be a red day. Obviously, that's um, gonna be interesting, but yeah. So I use them as a target. So basically, these data highs and data lows, I put them in a thread, but they get hit a lot. So whenever we leave a data high at eight thirty, and we go the opposite way, when we go back in the buy side of the curve, meaning when we um. Meaning when we like kind of break the last bearish for every I got formed that trades away from the data high here. This is your buy signal and then you just your targets these data highs and they just it's kinda of like equal highs and equal lows. They just hit a lot and that's what I've learned from back testing. But yeah. Um, not yet, Dolfo. Okay, because there's buy side liquidity up here, so it really, really can't be a buy model. Order canceled. I don't think it's gonna be a buy model. Um, I don't think it's gonna be sell model till we hit up here. So, if you haven't, if you know what a market maker model is, it looks like more like a buy model to me. Okay, the completion would be at the original spot we started it. Look at a four hour. The original spot we started the buy model was to the left at this high, so we would have to complete it. I think to complete it, we hit this high. Um, and what do we hit once we hit previous week high, such as this one? Like, this is always what I always say I say this is the big draw for the day, and if you hit that big draw on liquidity for the day. Price just tends to not. Price just tends to get worse after. So I mean, I mean, I just, I think stuff will be clean before we hit it. But then once we hit it, just price can be start chopping and just whatever. So I think like if I come in with a one daily target and that daily target's met, why would I try to keep trading? Right, that's just gonna cause over trading. I already have this plan right now, and my plan is okay. I want this high to be hit, and that's my plan. So. Once that's hit, I'm not going to have a plan, so I'm not going to make a new plan. I'd just rather get off and wait till tomorrow. So.
Um, let me check. I'm gonna check my forex factory. Just uh, oh, okay. We have a red follow news at ten still. I will be careful of that. Oh, wait. No, dude, it says... Wait, I'm looking at October 31st. <laughs> what the... Hey, my bad, my bad. I was like, I was going to say, I swear there's no news. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, 2 p.m. Powell speaks. Oh, God. I wonder if he's actually speaking on the actual economy or not. That's going to matter. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful with AM session. I'm going to need the setup to be like A++. Setup, right? why this is a is a decent inversion setup right so john again you understand why this is a is a decent inversion setup right i feel like you're not taking enough you're, you're just i don't know this would want this is one that i would definitely take again i'm done for the day so i'm not in this one but um again technically he's valid But yeah, I feel like you you say where's the fact that you asked me where where would an inverse model entry be, and I had to tell you means you probably d just don't understand it yet because this was something that you clearly should have seen. This is just so clear to me. This one good. Well, the bias is still bullish. It's a singular fair value gap, um, and we're delivering from a five minute fair value gap down here. So you look. Again, I'm I'm very green for the day. I'm not touching this, but um, it's it's valid, right? It's probably something it would take if I wasn't our green for the day. This is probably an A plus setup in my opinion. So yeah, like how's low? What's the point in you taking this? There's not any point in you taking this. I mean, it's probably gonna work. Market's always gonna be here. This is gonna play out again and 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 again. Oh, in my opinion, PA, this is where we trash. You should have chosen a better day for your stream so you could show your visitors your real skills. Hopefully, I'm wrong in AMPA Spire so you can flex. All right. By the way, um, this is an inversion right here, um, and I know he did take this low, but I mean, not one I like, really. I mean, I would say this is a B setup. If you want to try it, I guess you can, um, and you bring it up to this high, but not an A plus setup. It's not a C setup, but I would say this is more of a B setup. Like it could work, be, be not because. So I know we hit this high here, but the buy still is bullish technically. So I mean. My bias is right. This should at least work to this high, if not this high. Um, but the only thing that doesn't make this like an A plus setup is we already swept this high to the left. So I think this would be good to try in like an EVAL account or I don't know. It's like just be careful. This is not one I'd go super heavy in. I'd still maybe try it, but And I know there's an SMT, and I say never long with an S bearish SMT. And basically, what that means is, um, you can clearly see, okay, you can clearly see right here. Yes, already hit the high, and NQ hasn't, and that's really against my 
rules to long. But I'm pretty confident, like I said, the bias is bullish. So should this SMT really work? No. Okay, this is a fake SMT if the bias is bullish. Okay. Well, this high should hit. And if you're gonna just move your okay, so move yourself to break even there. And then just target the high up here. And again, your stop will go to break even or you target this high because we know this is uh, the ultimate bias. Hey, yo, Seb, don't say, don't talk. So again, if you're not if you're not holding some if you're not holding till here, okay, then you're this is a wasted opportunity. If you take an inversion like this, you should scale some here, but make sure you're holding till the actual higher time for your buy side because this will be better. Yeah, I'm not matching the 30 second setup today, guys, on the free stream. I haven't made a video about that, so no one's gonna understand it. If you're going to talk about the 30 second model, talk about it in the premium chat. Um, so my like trailing stop here now is going to be this. If we fall below this, I'm probably going to get out. Uh, as long as we hold it, I'm still holding until up there. But again, this is something where you really want to see this hold. Okay. This would now be my trailing stop. And I would literally just hold to up there. Okay. And then, uh, Uh, yeah, I'm in this KB. I took it on that. Not my, I took, never took it on a, I want to email. I took it on another account that I've been working on. <sighs> so there is a five second model here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a five second model here according to Dave teaches. <laughs> also, oh yeah, thanks for Leopard pointing it out, but this was also a 15 minute order block as well. So the fact that we were reacting off this order block, okay, um, and then we got that was kind of a comp up, I guess. So, dude, like, I made the video on how to scale back from a green to red day or from a red to green day, and I know it's kind of stupid, but it's worked for me in the past. I think the other way you could do it is going in the five second. You could scalp your way back in the five second, just taking five second setups because the stops are so tight, and you can let your runners run. So, no, I'm not kidding at all. I'm not even kidding. There's like, there's great five second setup. It's literally how like stoic and day trades, and they're like the risk reward is so much better. Like it would be like a, you'd have multiple attempts. So what you do is. You you trade a fair break on the five second and you target this buy side and you're gonna get stopped a couple of times but hopefully it's like a break even stop or hopefully it's like a five point stop and then the one time it works it's gonna be like a ten R so it's like gonna make up for everything. Uh, this guy named Dave. 
here's like a the free video thing on YouTube. Stoic, yeah. Dave teaches on Twitter. He's in the. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Jamaican. I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> I just joined his live stream a few times. I'm not sure what. I mean, if I had to guess, he sounds Jamaican, but. Hey, good morning, Brian. Timothy. Same. Same cause yesterday. Yep. Although there's so much um liquidity sitting at three sixty or so, we may visit that first. But if we do, I, where 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 we bounce like four times overnight. Oh uh, yeah, I see. Eh, I don't know. For right now, I'm just gonna go along with what's logical to me, and this is definitely logical to me. Just as long as you hold this, I want this. I got a I got a Twitter comment last yesterday. This guy's name was Timmy. I think it was his burner account. He said like, "I'm too indecisive on stream," and he was like, "Let the Asian guy talk more," which this is mythy in the um, channel. It's pretty funny because I always ask for feedback. He's never said anything, and this is actually the first thing I've ever actually gotten. And he took it on the timeline. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I don't know if it was a troll. Like, it could have been. Like, it kind of sounded like a troll, and it was a burner account, so I'm not sure. So, again, um, if you're long, your trailing stop should be if we violate this. Okay, so any candle close under this should be your trailing stop. You think Mithy is right on this one? You think we go to 360 first? I I'm not going to lie. Um, This is the condition at the moment. I mean, as long as we hold this, we should go here first. This is basically what I'm basing everything off of. We get a confirmation set up off of this. This would be good. It's not something good to blindly long. Like, I mean, this probably wouldn't be a good trade. First of all, how I teach stops. So this is this is a good lesson. How I teach stops is the actual stop for this would be where? It would be the last low, which is down here, which is this is a crazy stop. So this risk reward kind of already sucks anyways. The only reason I kind of teach aggressive stops a little bit because if price is logical and it is good price action, price tends to not close under this. So those are the stops I prefer. Now, it doesn't matter what you do. I like the aggressive stops because you can get better risk reward. But when price is trash, we will hit your stop and then go back up. That's a no But we won't hit this stop. Like we won't hit here, but we'll hit your aggressive stop, then go back up. But that's only when price isn't logical, pretty much. So you just have to make sure like... If you're doing those aggressive stops, like literally the position I'm in now, my stop is going to be closed below this. If you're doing those aggressive stops, make sure price is good. Make sure it's a good time to trade. It can't be during like Asia because it's not going to work. It has to be a good time to trade, etc. Um, because if price is not logical, you will get stopped out and it'll just keep going your way. So. Um. 
so someone asks if I'm going to say 360. Um, I Until we hit 469, I recommend that most people do not ever try to shot anything. Just take long. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. If I'm just saying that if we get a 360, like that is like possibly a full pot long. Possibly. Um, please don't actually do that. But um, <laughs> if you if you have an account that's about to expire tomorrow, <laughs> order. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm best look look for longs only today. Two, four, six, eight. Um, after we hit that, then maybe we can get something short. But um, today just simply long. Order submitted. Um, Frank, like I say, Frank, unless you see the good speed and displacement, like, I wouldn't shot. I think that's just to, to stay safe <laughs> for today. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree, I agree. It's kind of the same concept with yesterday, right? Like we thought we we're gonna hit four six eight, but we didn't. But it's, it's, it was a lot safer to just be made on the to try to look for long setups. Yep. By the way, like the four six eight, that's is the weekly objective. Like that's the weekly objective, not the daily objective, but the weekly objective. So I mean, we still have the next two days to hit it technically. Um, I mean, I hope it. Hit, I hope it's hit today, but um, that would be the best case scenario, obviously. So again, if like this doesn't hold, I'm probably gonna get out of my runners in my position I'm in now. Um and then again what I'll do is I'll just look for maybe another Jew to swing it open and then like another re entry or something. And I'll take it up to the spy side and, and I'll call when I'm doing it obviously. Um So you'll you'll see when I'll be able to get in and I'll tell you why and I'll show you why and whatever so it's more of a to actually understand but right now okay this is my condition at the moment i'm hoping it holds um but if not well then i guess i'll have to break even even though i did already scale some so my watch list my watch list is uh i'm watching mole and i'm watching torch i'm watching uh amc i'm watching uh what are some other <laughs> wish? I I think they got some squeezes in them today. What are some other old penny stocks that used to pump all the time? Oh, I'm watching a CEI. Yeah, <laughs> CEI. Oh, those are the days, man. Clove. Yep, yep, yep. PLTR. Eh, dude, Clove, I, I bag held that, dude. I thought, I really thought that was a good chance to pump. I was an idiot. By the way, this fair value gap not only tells me, okay, I, w I want it to hold, it also tells me the order flow. So this is just saying, okay, until this really breaks, until this is violated, the order flow is obviously still pretty bullish here. And there's three minutes to open, so see what happens here. The opening, I, I mean, yeah. So because it opens in three minutes, again, I'm going to have to adjust. All right, what does that mean? I know opens in three minutes. I know the volatility is going to be a lot. So uh, instead of waiting for a close underneath this, I think I'm just going to put a hard stop at like right here for my runner. I'll probably put like a hard stop right here and that that hard stop hits, I'll get out. Because if I wait for the close, that opening volatility could literally destroy me. So I'm just adjusting. If, if it wasn't for open, I wouldn't be doing that. But because of open, um, 
I'm going to adjust. I'm just going to put a hard stop instead of waiting for the manual stop because the manual stop is going to do well if uh, there's a lot of volatility to open. So, um, again, let's see what happens. What do they do, Mad? All right, one more minute. Hey, yo, reliable chill, bro. Thirty nine seconds. Dude, Alex. <laughs> Alex tried to get that uh free referral money. All right, 17 seconds. I'm probably going to get stopped last at break even, but it's fine. We'll uh, look for a re-entry. Again, I I don't know what open's going to do. We're going to have to find out. Um I hope bullish, but yeah. Okay, perfect. So stop goes to break even again if you did enter there somehow and then i'm literally just gonna skip order out filled here. all right i'm all out there boom order canceled all right order so canceled. didn't hit my hard stop hit buy side and i'm out there so really nice um <laughs> look what happens as soon as you hit buy side there <laughs> right back down right back down So again, um, not holding any runners past this buy side. You're probably wondering why I'm not even going to try to hold runners here. Mainly, I mean, mainly because open volatility. We really like the only way to hold runners if we is if we displaced above this. So here, this is what. So this is a little teaching moment. So, um, look. We have external range and internal range of liquidity. This is internal range liquidity. This is external range liquidity. Displacing above the internal range liquidity tells me we're going to go to the external range liquidity. So I hold runners all there. Do I really know if we're going to displace above this external range liquidity? No. I mean, I know we had this target in mind after this target, but... And I I can only hold the runners if is if I take a long setup and we displace above this external range liquidity because that tells me we're gonna go here. Displacing above the internal range here doesn't really tell me we're gonna go above this too much. So I just sell everything here. Does that make sense? Type one if that makes sense. So it's just it all has to do with internal range and external range. The internal range tells us we're gonna at least go to here, and that. So, and, and unless we really displace above this external range liquidity, I don't know what I know we're gonna go here. I don't know when. That's the problem. The when part. Okay. So I just can't. I'm not gonna hold a runner there if I don't know when. I figured we'd go hit that because we kind of displaced and we got a long setup above internal range liquidity. But the one part's the only tricky part um, for that external range. So really what I'm looking for here is if we get like a five minute bearish for a rally gap and maybe inverse that or something. Yeah, the hope is that we continue to drop for another 10 minutes or so um, and then do this off 360. That's yes. the whole so if anyone right doesn't now. understand what a Judas swing is, it's basically a concept ICT teaches. And, and basically what it means is if we know the bias is bullish today, if we know we're going up here, then what you want to see off open is kind of a drop the opposite way. And then we go up. Okay. So that's what a Judas is. That's basically the opposite move.
The entry for because Judas they're... Swing is whenever we get a model. So your Judas Swing would be down and you're just looking for any whatever model you like to use here. You're looking for a breaker block entry, you're looking for whatever model you prefer using, okay? To me, there isn't really any good model here, so I want to see like an inversion setup or something like that. Uh, this fair value gap right here is a three minute, but it doesn't really jump out at me too much. Um, obviously, I'm going to call out the ones that jump out to me. That does not. <laughs> I, I'm definitely, this is, I would definitely be curious to see if this worked, if we broke that, if we'd go back to the high. It's kind of too small for my liking, but I could see this working. And then it would take us back up to this high. This is, I'll just tape read this one. Okay, so I'm going to tape read this one. It's kind of small. I prefer it to be a little bigger. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm actually kind of curious to see if this works or not. So I'll just, I'm going to tape read this one. I'm uh, not going to execute it. But Yeah, pro probably not. I think, I think the objective right now for the market is to go back to 360. Um, but I wouldn't short still because it can turn at any point in time. And I, yeah, I said, I do not, yeah. I don't. Keep the, uh, yeah, you can keep talking. Yeah, three, three, 360, I think it looks, looks like once you get there first. Basically, take out everybody who is long from London and then go up. Yeah. Um, of course, just wait for some sort of confirmation. Um, a, 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 big, a big 100 point move like this is not going to go without you, without some sort of pullback. So just be patient. Yeah, so like 360 would be where you're mainly looking for long entries. I mean, I think you could look for long entries before 360, like anywhere here, here. Like, I don't think we need 360, but I think as long as we get a model from somewhere, and it could be here, which looks like it's not going to give us one, or 360, which there are a lot of relative equal lows down here. It doesn't matter where, but as long as we get a model from one of the spots, <coughs> Um, that's really what we're looking for at the moment. Now, I do, I am going to mark this one minute BPR here because if we do close the bullish BPR, I think we'll probably just accelerate at least to these lows probably right here. We'll probably accelerate to these lows and then that will probably bring us to 360. I'm not going to marry myself to 360, but I mean... These are perfect equal lows here. So close below this BPR tells me we should go to this low. And then I say there's a 90% chance we still go to we go to this low next. So like we will close below. And then once we hit once we hit one of these lows, this one or this one, that's when you still look for a long model. <laughs> So there's the close under, so we should go right to here now, okay? And then 90% chance we go to 360. There's the retest of it, okay? And again, why? Because these are perfect equal lows, okay? We inverse the BPR, which is one of the strongest PD rays in the market. Um, that's another reason. Also, new day opening gap, CD pointed out. So there's that target. Um, so we could hit this target and get a long setup from here. Like, this is the first target, this would be the second one. So, obviously, when you hit this, you move your stop to break even, you get the deal, and then you just hold runners for this. Um, a BPR is just when we have a stacked for rally gaps next to each other. Um, it's called the balance price range. Um, there's a lot of misinformation around them. I just know them as this. This is how I draw them. I'm not sure. Like, I hate seeing the exact definition because some people are like, "That's not right." Yeah, I have. I have a really good video. It's it's called all about liquidity. So again, from the looks of it, looks like we should go hit this 360 level. 
But will I long if we get a long model here? Yeah, I will. Yeah, 360 is basically the only place where if you intend to like soup, that will be the very first place I look for soup. I will not soup anywhere here until 360. Uh, yeah, I, I always forget to do an index commentary when I'm live. Yeah, let me, um, I'll post them in this commentary now. Okay, we should hit this level in a second. By the way, there comes a time when we're going to get too close to a level not too long. So as I said right here, I would say, okay, is there, if there's a long model, I'll definitely take it here. But see how we get really close here? Now, any long model, I'm not trusting because we're so close to this 360 level. So, now I actually want to trust a long. The only way it would along is if we barely displace below this load. Like in a long setup, but you can see we heavily displaced to it, meaning we should go here. And if we don't, I'm not taking a long. So, uh, the displacement there kind of tells me, okay, don't long now until we hit here. And yeah, this is lower, this is liquidity. Okay, you can see it's in the form of an algorithmic trend line here, so. Uh, by the way, what would, what could we use as an inversion now? Yeah, the. Yeah, the five minutes. So this is our condition. This is our bias. If we break this, we should just go out to here. But until then, um, can't really touch anything. Heck like, yes. Yeah, so we do have an ES. We do have an intermediate term low. Sitting here inside a free value gap. See if we hold this. So, yes, you got a big fair value gap up here. Not a fair value gap, but short. We've already taken out too much liquidity, um, and I'd rather look for it to be inverse. <sighs> yes, man. So, yeah, now we'll just wait to see if this is inverse. Again, I think the one key thing I said is what did I say? I started, I'm not going to start with an M. Yes, I'm not going to marry these lows. I'm not going to be like, yeah, we have to go to these lows. Because I don't really think that. I don't know if we're going to go to these lows. All, I, all I'm confident in is, is we're going to go to these highs. So I will long whether we, or not we go to these lows. So I'm not going to get too tied up with them. Um, you know, sometimes the market will hit them before we go up. Sometimes the market doesn't. Um, we already hit this low, so this is good enough for me. We hit these lows great. If not, it's not a big deal, you know. So but make sure you're not like sometimes people marry people th like lows because they think they have to hit before a high hits or something. They don't always have to hit. I mean, 
the buy model completion always has to hit. And the buy model right now is clearly this high. So this does have to hit. So again, you don't want to get caught up and, and get super tied to these lows just in case they don't hit. Because if they don't hit and we inverse this, you're going to be like, oh, these didn't hit. I'm not going to long. Even though the overall bias is bullish. Um, No, I do not color. What's up, Levi? Yo. You looking for a 2022 model here? No, I, I, I'm I'm already in the short for those, waiting for those lows to hit. Oh, but then after, right? May, if, if to go long? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, probably. Because NAS is trash. If you're trading off a US 100 or NAS, that. Uh, Probably not going to go well for you. Make sure you're trading <laughs> off of NQ. <laughs> Probably not going to go well for you. That's funny. Dude, that person was mad, bro. That said that tweet. Like, why is he so mad? Yeah, I don't. He probably blew his account or something. I don't know. I wish he DM'd me. He never did. So I'm thinking it could have been a troll account. I'm not sure. You're talking about the high on the daily, right? Um, yeah. The complete it's the completion of the buy model. <laughs> also, remember Powell speaking. So, like if you're new, I just I don't know, I would Probably just watch and tape read and just listen to what I have to say and learn. Um, there's no point in risking your capital on a day like today. Um, yesterday's PM session was pretty good in my opinion. Tomorrow should be decent. So, um, if you're in the mindset to learn, I'll just tape read, listen to what I have to say. Okay, it's gonna help you in the long run. No, so I only look at DXY for like Euro. So I'm not going to lie. This is technically a confirmation set up for Euro. So Euro should actually hit this high right here. Um, I, I was going to tweet this earlier, but I totally forgot. Or I was going to send it in my... Yeah, but like this is the confirmation setup because it's a fair value gap out of a fair value gap, so that's why I should be hit. And you can see at the same time, look, DXY is also in a bearish fair value gap. So if these indexes should move the opposite to each other, this is in a bearish fair value gap, which is bearish. This is delivering out of a one hour fair value gap right here, which is bullish. So it makes sense and it's correlated. That means it's correlated. <laughs> Damn. I did not make a tweet publicly saying short Bitcoin here. But I do think that, and this is clearly getting wrecked. A lot of people like Trader Day, all these guys on Twitter have been saying, all these like ICT experts, quote unquote, have been saying, do not buy here. <laughs> and we've caught up like $2,000. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is not what I expected. I mean, there's still three days, 10 hours of the candle close, but let me check uh, CL here. Damn, CL hit by some dumps. I've had this drawn for a while. Um, I think CL is probably gonna go back down to I think CL is gonna go back down to here. So 
that's what I'll be looking for in oil. And then uh, what else? Oh, yeah, gold. I want to check. So gold, I've been bearish to this daily for a gap, which finally hit. This is my target. So let's see what happens out of here. I actually called this a few weeks ago. So you can see gold, the, the body is respected the fair value gap to the left. Okay, that's always what you want to see when you're looking at any index, right? When you're looking at ES and you're looking at NQ, you want to see the bodies respect the fair value gap, which it did. And then if you watch my how to scalp back from red to green, like this is an example where you could use. You could be like, okay, we're really high. We should at least retrace to the next fair value gap, which would be down here. And you could start averaging in the shorts and then you sell all here. And you sell all here because... You don't know if it's going to go to here. You just know it's going to go to that next for reality gap, which is here. Um, and as you can see, this one was already filled. Okay, and because this is already filled, that wouldn't really matter. This is unfilled, so it would go to that next unfilled for reality gap, which is right here. So now we'll see what happens out of this. Um, and yeah. Pretty trash price action right now. I'm not going to lie, so... Um, still looks like we're going to go to this 360 level if I had to guess, jumped on my head, but uh, I'm not into short or anything here. That just looks like... Yeah, I, yeah. Again, just on the shot today. Yeah, um, I want to... Just because either. of the weekly, weekly time frame. Yeah, again, the weekly objective, it cares about the lows before hitting the highs, like it cares about going to these, but it doesn't see price and we have to hit here. It sees price and we have to hit here. So whether we take this low or not is sometimes a mystery. I know there's I know really good ICT traders who don't think we're gonna hit this low today. I also know good ICT traders who do think we're gonna hit the low today. All right, that just tells you do people actually know? Not really, but there is one thing we all do have in common. This weekly target. Okay, everyone has this weekly target in common. So that's what I want to see hit. So like that's why I don't really care if this hits or not. It's, it's very simple. Either we break 360 and we see speed and displacement go back up, or we take the 5-minute inverse, and then we long. So it's either we order submitted. We know it hit a key level, or we see confirmation that it's going to want to go order up Order cancelled. That's, that's really about it. All right, so we're back in this five minute version. So, like I said, um, really just gonna see if this is inverse, and then we'll obviously take that back up to the highs. Again, in my, in my opinion, this is not financial advice. This is not a 2022 model short. I know it looks like one, but I think the bias is still bullish. I still think we go here, so I want to see this violated. So I really like this. Just from like a tapering perspective, what do you see here? You see absolutely no respect from this. Okay, so I'll probably try long if this is closed above. 
Um, I'm actually going to get in. If the candle is like at 30 seconds or 20 seconds and we're like right here, I'm going to get in one. But again, we should go back to these highs. So this is where the watching for the body close here is really important. Okay, 37 seconds, the candle close. All right, I'm gonna, not yet, Let's see. Really just wanna make sure this gets closed above. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. So because, see what happens here. Wow, okay, never mind. No body close above. I was gonna say because of how big this is, I was gonna say let's wait for confirmation setup. But look, that never got closed above, so it's not actually valid yet. Um, that's why you want to wait. Um, it looked like it was about to, but it never was. So I was about to say if we did close above that, because this is kind of big, I was gonna say let's look for a one minute confirmation setup. But um, it doesn't apply anymore because the body did not close above there. So that's interesting. I I still think it has a good chance to close above, just has not closed above yet. Okay. Again, I still think we're going to go up and hit this high and then go hit this high, but we need confirmation. That confirmation would be, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just trash. That confirmation would be us closing above this. Yeah, I know. Yes, is weak, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I still have faith in this working to this high. So it did close above in the micro. Does that increase the likelihood of of a uh, us going up here? Yes or no? No, do not trust the micro. <laughs> I always tell everyone this. Do not trust the micro. So here's the deal. So you can do one of two options here. If this gets closed over, what I would do is I'd go like a half a size. Honestly, why would you go half the size here? Yeah, because it's a big stop loss. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take like a four size here. So I'm gonna enter some here. Um literally only a fourth the size, okay? And then as long I will still hold and I'll average up if we don't hit this high before. And if we end up closing back below, I'll just cut it. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm entering a fourth the size right now. Um I'll probably scale one here and then I'll just try to hold the last till up here, which if, if we get a, if we hit this high and I'm in fourth the size, that's still going to be like a normal size play for me. So that's what I'm hoping. So that's why I'm not going to scale everything here. So let's see what happens. And then your stop would go to break even when we hit up here. And it does look like we're going to close below. And I mean, I think we should. <clears throat> Again, I have a limit set up here. So uh, I'm not selling everything up here. I'm only selling one, but... If we get really close, I'll probably just move my south break even. Again, you do not want this to go red. Again, if the candle ends up closing below, I'm going to cut this. Let's see. Well, 
Hopefully it doesn't, obviously, but. Again, these are this is a scenario where you, you kind of have a confident bias, except the stop is too big, so you can't go full size in something like this. What you can do is you can go half, fourth the size, and you can hold for longer. And it'll still be the same result as if you went the full position. So this is just risk management. So that's why I'm going to hold longer, and I'm only scaling half here. Normally, I'd scale all here, but. Okay, really want us to see us accelerate up to this high. Okay. Good. Did just uh, provide a one minute fair value gap entry as well. Okay. Got on there. That was your other entry. And all right, I'm out. I'm out half there. Okay, stop goes to break even. I'm gonna try holding the rest still up here. Okay, everyone understand? Oh, so that's gonna be my target. Again, is there any guarantee that that hits before stopping me out? No. Okay. Um. I mean, that's why I scaled half, and that's still how many points if you caught that? It's still a lot of points if you caught it. So, I mean, hopefully it does. But I tend to be a little unlucky. Whenever I go, I call this going for a home run target. Whenever I go for a home run target, it just I don't know. I get unlucky. It doesn't go up half the time. A lot of times when I go for a home run target, we hit buy side, go back down, then we go back up, and it just stops me out every time. So, again, that's why I scaled half. Um, like I'm about to get stopped to break even. My stop is sitting at 15400 see. If I do get stopped... Okay, which I'm about to. Okay, so stop the break even for the the rest there, so that's fine. Uh, we can still look for a re-entry. There's no uh, shame in looking for like a re-entry here. Obviously, that was already a good move. How many of you guys sold everything here instead of trying to hold? Okay, yeah, I figured half of you would, but I thought it was worth holding some some of it, which is fine. Again, still, is this a winning play or is this a winning play? Yeah, it's still a winning play, obviously. Um, and I'm not, I'm trying not to say boom or any of that anymore. Um, I got a DM yesterday saying they don't like when I gloat the trades, because if you're trading, you should be emotionless and you shouldn't be, uh, again, a trade is a trade. If it works, it works, you know? So. Um, uh, and they say, don't, well, I always say type one if you caught it, but. I don't think they like that either, so I'm not going to even say that. All right, we'll see if we get a re-entry. ES is just, I don't know, man. ES is trash. ES is definitely the cause of this. Now, what could be another, uh, what could be in play here? I don't know, Amy. What could be in play here? Yeah, if we inverse this, I think we'll go to 360. So this is my condition now. We'll watch and see what happens out here.
Smithy, did you take that? Yeah, I did. What? Well, so I want to ask from like someone else's perspective. What made you take that, Mithy? Um, I hope you I say what I. At, I uh, hope you say what I think. This is this is something I didn't really didn't say. I want to see if Mithy says it. All right, what Mithy? I I basically was looking at the last one minute um inverse from uh the last FPG from nine thirteen, and basically once it broke that, I I longed to four twenty. Okay. Yep. So that was one reason. That, was there any other reason specifically that doesn't have to do with speed and displacement? Yes. Speed and displacement. Yes, the speed and displacement. Exactly what I wanted him to say. So I saw a lot of speed there. It looked promising. Okay, with all that speed, especially going up this, it just looked weird, like we we're gonna go to the high. So that's why I take a play like that, even though we technically truly didn't close above. But yeah, I was hoping it would go all the way to four six eight. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't. But, That's um, but I, I'm prepared to long again if I get if I see something. Wait, St Steve, what made you short the top, bro? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I sorted the top because if you all noticed the past two to three days, yesterday and at least uh, went or uh, Tuesday, when we took out the prior day high, we immediately went down to take out the prior day low. That's why I got in the short at the very top. As oh, yeah. soon as we took out that yesterday's liquidity, I just went short. And boom. You know, I got my fifty points and got out. Yep. All right. I'm gonna try. Yeah, there's. I'm gonna have to chase this. It's gonna be too much. I'm gonna probably just. I, I usually size like five minis. I'm gonna try short one mini here. I'm gonna try to take it to these lows here. I think we go hit them. Let's see. I mean, looks like we're getting a lot of speed. If we hit here, I'll move myself to break even. Um. It's going to be, again, another unfortunate situation where we're just the candle's too much here, so you can't go full size, obviously. You're just going to have to go light and just hold longer and hopefully hit this. But speed and displacement here is a lot. I mean, tells me we should at least hit this low, which then I can move my break even. But... All right, um, stop the break even here. I'm going to cover it here. I'm out here. Boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. All right, no. now I wish I held. <laughs> yeah, I figured that would just dump there. I'm not going to lie. All right. So that's two for two. Um, again, not going full size, but did I just make a lot of money? Yeah. Okay. Cause obviously I can hold that for longer instead of just scalping that. Okay. Um, so, uh, TV swept. Did I prove you wrong? I have, a, I have a start that long position. Did you um, take that? short with I did, yes. Yeah, and then now I have a starter. Yeah. I now have a starter um, long at 5359. Um, I'll wait to add more in some confirmation. I'm up 60 points now today already. 
By the way, I closed my premium membership. The only way you can get it in and now is if you send feet pics. Just so you get, if you guys want to join. I am putting a break even stop on my starter now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, uh... If, if, you, if you tested this like what I did, put a break even stop now. So now, stop what I really game. want here is this. Alright, this is what I want, right here. Um, so what happened yesterday for everyone on my stream? Order filled. What happened yesterday for everyone on my stream? So what happened here, I'll tell you what happened. So I alerted nice plays, okay, some really nice plays. And then we gave some away back in that chop. Now, how could you different how could you be different today? What could you do differently today? To avoid that. Yeah, you can walk away right now. And you could be green for the day. That's what you can do to avoid it. So I strongly recommend doing that now. Um, it's up to you, obviously, but that's what I'm. I'm probably done after that. Um, and yeah, it's just again, there's. It's impossible. If I walk away here, it's impossible for me to go red. Okay, I can't take any losing trades here. So the only way you could take a losing trade if you're is if you're pressing the button. So after those two plays, I strongly recommend. Discipline wise, just don't press the buttons anymore, all right? So, uh, yeah, uh, the next thing I'd be maybe watching for is this now. Okay. This would be your condition. So I would want to see this five minute violated for the bias. But yeah, you really don't need any more trades after that. Um, I'll probably be streaming for probably another hour or so, so I'll 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 just keep tapering and I'll point out stuff I like and what I'm looking for. Like right now, for example, I'm just again I'm watching this five minute um bears for rally gap. If it's closed over again, I want us to go back to buy side and then back higher, but that's really my only condition at the moment. But yeah, once we take that sell side, we'll probably chop here a little bit. So. There's still about one more minute, 49 seconds till this candle close. So the least, the least I want is us actually going into this very valley gap. Meaning, this would be the target once this candle closes. Why? Because when you have a fair valley gap, you hit sell side, we barely displaced, and you have a high right before a fair valley gap. ICT says count this as a swing high. So this, whatever, wherever the swing high is made right here, this would be the target once this candle closes. You can see it's going to be moving up a little bit.
Still 50 seconds of the can of close here. Target filled. All right, so there's that. Uh, sorry, I'm. <gasps> Yo, boom, anyone? <laughs> Only my premium numbers know what play I was just in. Speaker boom. <laughs> I knew that'd work. I'm I'm still holding from three five nine. The only pim I would consider is four twenty, right now. Uh, um, just just in case it's a box setup from there. Um, plus EV, did you take that? That was, see that one I knew would work because we just swept cell side and yeah. All right, um, so I'm watching this five minute right here, okay? So this is my condition. I think we're going to violate this. Um, You know, yeah, yes, Leo. Now, there's always signatures and price you should probably remember. I feel like this is one of them. See how we just had this gigantic green candle. We hit by a side, then a gigantic red candle down, and we have this inverse. Sometimes, like, this signature and price is just... This inverse doesn't always work perfectly. I mean, actually, eh, never mind. I'm not going to say that. I don't know. This is just, these are very big candles for this inverse to, for this specifically to deliver us to the high. You got to think about it from a stop loss perspective. If there's, if you're stopping out, if you're shorting in this fair value gap and you're stopping out, well, stop losses really take us all the way back up to this high just based off this fair value gap alone. Sometimes not. So this signature and price, I don't love. So this signature and price specifically, I will look for like a one minute confirmation long setup. Uh, if you want to join the longs, um, potentially 375 now, if we get there, um, might be a good place to. Yeah. Uh, and it's also, it also lines up like a two minute order block. So. Yeah, that's why I'm looking at the two minute order block basically. And then again, we're still targeting up there. I don't think he was ever in, Eli. Type one if you learn if you've learned something today. Hey. So the only thing that is probably stopping us from four three two might be that order block that is at three ninety five and four hundred. Um, but that might also mean that we will inverse the five minute as well. So I might need to think that that order block will not fall. And we should just accelerate past it. Um, no, I do not have class. Uh, by the way, there's two inverses here. However, based on, I mean, the Based on gun to my head, um, I'm bullish. So I want to break both of these. So, like, sometimes if you think that, you could long this one. But, I mean, it's definitely more risky. You have to be really confident about the bias if you want to long something like this. Like, very confident about the bias. And then you bring it up to here. I I'm not doing that. I'm done for the day. But I'm just saying. 
that's something you can look for yourself in the future if you want. And remember what I teach, <laughs> what I teach is stuff I do. You can change that a little bit. For example, I only like taking a single inverse. That's what I teach. But let's say your bias is really confident. You could take like this, hoping we inverse this, if that makes sense. But that's later down the road. Definitely not something you're going to understand now. It also is a two minute BPR. So, I mean, not something I'm taking. If you want to, again, anything else I say or think or just say in general, I would just demo. Okay. You do not want to take any more live trades. We're already two for two. I'm up a lot of points. Um, I just, I would just tape read now. Okay. What happened yesterday is we tried to keep going and it ended up not working. So, Again, I would be done. Um, I don't want you guys to over trade, but it's been a very good stream. So, is is anyone red? Yeah, I'm posting this on YouTube. I'll post it. Do not troll. If you troll, I'm muting you. Is anyone legitimately red? Okay, you are Emilio. Emilio, I'm actually surprised. Um, there was two soups. You didn't, dude. Eli, yeah, uh, you're muted. Goodbye. You. Bro, I said if you trolled me, I'm muting you. I can't even mute you. Oh wait, yeah, I can. So there's a two-minute order block. Okay. Um, again, let's just see what happens. I'm not entering this. What would the confirmation setup be here? What would the confirmation setup be here? Yeah, if we inverse this right here. Could you enter this order box theoretically? If you're bullish. Yeah, of course you can. This is just another entry model, okay? Uh, I mean, yeah, if you want to demo it, be, be, feel free, for a free, but. <laughs> There's like 20 people who just left. I wonder why they all left. So what I'd suggest doing is is if this is inverse, try demo long, okay? Why demo? Because I'm two for two. I'm I'm done. I don't need the trade anymore. It doesn't look bad. It's a singular fair value gap. We think the bias is bullish. Only if it's inverse though. Actually, wait, 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 wait. This one minute looks better. So if this one minute's inversed. Oh, yeah. I said I'm not doing any more plays, just tape reading. So they probably left because they didn't get signals from me. Yeah, signals are stupid. If you're not joining to learn, then I don't know what to tell. How do you find the correct bias in general? Um, the learning about the market maker buy and sell model that gives me the bias, and learning about lower resistance liquidity gives me the bias. Green time and then daily inversions, inversions on like the daily. So those four things. So looks like uh, this is not going to be inversed. Therefore, am I interested in longing this? Hell no. This is the confirmation setup for this one minute order block. Yeah, it's up to you, Swap.
Uh, yeah, you could. All right, let's see. Do a video on what you discussed earlier about Burger King. Are you talking about like it longing, longing this? Oh, I know you're talking about. You're talking about like gold. Wait, are you talking about this and gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say when we reject this for a gap. I treat this as a balanced fair value. This is not a fair value. This is not fair value anymore. Okay, this is physically not fair value because we've already filled it. However, this one wasn't filled. So I just, I would totally, my, I would delete this off my chart. It just wouldn't matter to me anymore. And we should go to the unfilled one. Does that make sense? So it's like if it's filled and we're dealing for a fair value gap, this doesn't really matter. It's an unfair value gap here. So it doesn't look like that's going to be inverse for now. So again, could I long there? No, this is never inverse. Yes, you can use it to inverse. Uh, let's see you, Mike. Thanks for coming today, man. So if you guys didn't hear, um, I'm doing a Black Friday discount for my premium. So it is $35 a month. I'm raising the prices by 200%. So it's going to be $105 a month if any of you guys like the stream and want to join. Uh, it's a 200% increase. Uh, CPI CPI really got me last, last uh, week when it came out. So unfortunately, you can blame CPI. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. That was a joke. All right. This is technically still valid. I mean, yeah, I'll say it's technically still valid. Technically speaking. It's all still tried and done. You guys all understand why this is a good for a valley gap? Use as an inverse. Uh, no. <laughs> TV swap. No one heard you. I don't think you're. I think you're muted, bro. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Join, join back up. <laughs> yeah, try again. Yeah, it's a good IFVG to long, Leo, in my opinion. All right, TV sub, you got to unmute your mic.
<laughs> yeah, he's not. He's. Oh yeah, he is not. There is a potential SMT here. By the way, why was this a good soup right here? And why, like, I know I never called it a lot of time, but this is good for like. Oh wait, unmute your mic, TV swap. Can you unmute it in the bottom left? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it worked, I think. This oh, time. yeah, yeah. I, I, I can hear you now. I restarted Discord. I oh. was just going to say to anybody new in here, like, this is just a super honest review. I'm not profitable yet. I've been with Dodgy for a year. I'm almost profitable. I have three funded accounts, just haven't got a payout. But my problem is, it's my problem, not his education. His education is fire. I just revert to DGen scalping sometimes, whether I like it or not. But anyway. It's the education. This channel is unmatched. I can guarantee you if you give it some time, you're going to improve as a trader. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, her life will stop. Um, but, all right. So going back, why, in hindsight, why was this a good soup? Yes, Droopy got it correct because it tasted good. It was chicken noodle and I really liked it. All right, let's... Okay, okay, why actually was it a good soup? Yes, because ES was inside a Favrela Gap. And you, if you ever see really big... So look, this is this is like part of the soup model. This is, if you guys know Juice Trades on Twitter, he went 23-0 and 0 to souping stuff in last month. Um, Don't ask me how, but he did. Right. If you ever see us, look at this. If you ever see us go up, hit a high in NQ at the same time, NQ is a giant for every gap and looks weak. The chances of this being a soup are pretty good because you got to realize like NQ is still in a bearish for every gap. It was barely going up. And as soon as we hit that, we also hit the high in NQ. So it just makes that a pretty good soup. Um, a turtle soup is just, and again, if you guys don't know what a turtle soup is, it's basically if you short, you short immediately when we hit a high or, or long when we hit a low. So like you could be longing this right now. This would be considered a soup right here because we go below this low. And this is also an hourly for really gap and yes. So. I don't understand that either, Max. I did not do soups. I'm not going to lie. Um, by the way, uh, would you guys consider this the silver bullet here? Or would you consider this the silver bullet? Hell, dog, I'm looking right now. Hell Doggo, can you at me? I don't see it. Yeah, I mean I would probably consider this the, the silver bullet because there's a liquidity sweep right here. This really really was no liquidity sweep. Yo, at reply to the comment, Hell Doggo, and at me in the reply. Well, there's your answer on why it's called turtle soup. Uh, by the way, Euro buy side did hit. Did anyone did anyone end up taking a long end Euro? 
when I called that earlier. I don't know. I don't know if there's a setup or not. I wasn't looking at the lower time frame. If there was, great. If not, then it's fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if there's a setup or not. Order filled. So this is where we're probably going to start to become a little choppy, if I had to guess. Um, again, unless you want to see me tape read, probably no point in you being on stream and stream anymore. I'll probably end it at probably like 30 more minutes. So, uh, Yeah, Joe. All right. Why would this not be the sort of bullet? Okay. So I would say because there's no liquidity sweep there, he'll doggo. I would say it was the first one. I, I mean, see, that's where that's why I don't like Silver Bullet. I, I do not like Silver Bullet because of that reason, and I don't exactly know. Like, because it could have been both there, you know? You just, I don't, I don't know. I would say because of the liquidity sweep. Uh <clears throat> Yes, is pretty weak at the moment. There's still a lot of time till this candle close, so this would actually be a prime time to look for a long setup because we could wick back above before the candle closes. What 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 am I supposed to teach off of this? Nothing. There's I don't know what to say. This is just chop. This is where you cue the Jeopardy music. Target filled. How do you guys, how do you guys, how do you guys who are not in the stream every day rate the stream? Point nine out of ten, great. Look at that. See? Again, this is like a prime time to look for a long setup when you see if you think the bias is bullish, this is exactly what I talked about on that one Sunday night class. If you saw what I talked about in the video, I always, if you think the bias is bullish and we're, and the body's below an hourly favorite rally gap and there's still 20 minutes of the close, 
that's like the perfect time to look for a long setup because the market will want to wick us back up. And on a lower time frame, the long should work. Eight, why 8 out of 10, Saks Abroad? How, what could I do better? I need fee I need honest feedback. Also, J Pow speaks it too. That's the other reason why I go to demo, but Yeah, Dion, you've been in my live streams for a while, man. Let me see if I, I reckon I'm gonna see if I can call it all the OGs in here. I mean, I would call Lamore as an OG. Uh, let's see, anyone else? I mean, Bitcoin Kent, I would say Leopard, GG Face. I've seen. I think he's an OG. Options, probably not. Um. <laughs> uh, HH is an OG, just not in my premium. He's an OG in the trading chat. Mlam, Mlam is definitely one. Joel is definitely one. Who else? I would say, yeah, Colin. Colin's definitely one. All right, let me, uh, so personal feedback, it would be nice to have a larger time frame outlook. Other than that, I think you're on point. Okay, larger time frame outlook. Okay. Um, my larger time frame outlook, I went over a couple times. It's bullish still here you probably weren't in here maybe i'm not sure um yeah whether we go like this and then this or just up from here i'm not entirely sure maybe we bounce off the sea of this wick but it's still bullish so this is just you have a model you look for the model at your key levels key levels for me would be this consequent encroachment of this wick Right, you measure it by drawing a fib retracement tool from this low of the body to the low of the candle, and then you got your CE. This is a key level, and then this would also be a key level, this for a value gap. Okay, yeah, I can do that, Saxa. Uh yeah, I can. Yeah, Lime, you're probably not here because I, I, I said I was bullish for here. And I always say that in the index commentary as well. Check index commentary. You don't think that NASDAQ going to be dragged down by an ES? Um, it's going to depend on this hourly fair value gap. If we close below, then yeah. But if, if ES holds this hourly fair value gap, I can definitely see us reversing here. So it's I'm going to have to decide in 17 minutes. I I really want this. This is what I want. But well, it's all going to depend on how this body closes here. That makes sense. If the body, what I think could happen is if the body does close below, I think ES is going to go to this low, 4375.25, and I bet you we create a bullish SMT with NQ. And then NQ would bounce off that 0.5 or whatever it was. All right, so for, uh, yeah, Empire Steve's definitely an OG Twitter follower. CD trading is definitely one. Mushy, you're definitely not. Elon, no. Oh fear, yeah, I would say oh fear is. Man, there's like there's like OG OG. Who else who would be OG OG here? Cloudy, definitely cloudy. Uh I don't think there's anyone else. I feel like Jenner Jenner has been here for a while. JM Hawk. JM Hawk is definitely OG OG. Sale is, I would say, yes, yeah, sale is OG OG. TV swap definitely is, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to say. Um, 
Nader, Nader is definitely one. Collect coin. I don't really. I had like, there. I was streaming every day to about fifty people. These fifty people were in here, like collect coin, Nader, and then I kind of grew. Uh, low, low heat, uh, low heat. Uh, Boozville is definitely one. Blake is one. Dart is. Eh, I don't know if Dart's one, but Blake is definitely. Eh, yeah, probably. Oh yeah, Dirty Dangles boys. Yeah, definitely you are. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you are. Um, there's some other OG OG members who join occasionally, just not every day, like Mark, Mike, Mike the Barbarian, uh, Tim McGee. Yeah, come a long way for sure. I think Dragons won. Dragon, o I'm pretty sure. So you can see right now the hourly is still holding this. Okay, I think it's still a fine time to look for long. So those get held oh wado wado is kind of, wado's not og og but he's definitely OG. Uh, he's doing pretty good oh yeah dean dean is <laughs> i'm pretty sure dean been here for free but Michael, Michael's definitely OG, not OG, OG, but OG. Uh, like a year. Again, the whole bias really depends on this candle close here. 